Okay, so time has finally come to talk about the code. And guys, you'd be really surprised how simple uh, the code is. And just in a few lines of code, we are able to actually talk to PayPal um, MCP server, right? So let's take a look how this is done. So first of all, you need to have your environment set up. So in your .env file, you need to have Google Gen AI use Vertex AI as false, and you need to give your API key. Now, if you don't know, then there are lectures uh, proceeding to this where I have shown how you can actually uh, get the API key from the Google AI Studio. So just simply copy and put it here. Then uh, the code is already there uh, in your uh, resources section. You can pick it from there. So let's take it one by one what we are doing. So we are saying from uh, this, this specific library, which is a Google ADK library or um, the Google ADK agents LLM agent, we are importing the LLM agent. So LLM agent is the class that represents LLM agent in ADK. It's responsible for processing natural language inputs making decisions and interacting with the tools. Then we talk about the MCP toolset, very important. So this class facilitates the integration of tools from MCP server into the agent, because at the end of the day, the tool has to talk to the LLM, right? So this is what uh, this MCP toolset is doing. It manages the connection to the MCP server, discovers available tools and adapts them for the use by the agent. Then um, uh, you are already aware of the STDIO server parameters. This class specifies the parameters for connecting to the MCP server via the standard IO, which is STDIO, input output, and commonly used normally for the local servers. Then we talk about uh, the define, definition of the asynchronous function create underscore agent. So what are we doing? We are creating our agent. And here, if you see, the purpose is the asynchronous function is designed to create and configure an LLM agent equipped with tools retrieved from MCP server. And I'll show you that I will actually ask this guy, which tools do you know of? And it will say, okay, I'm aware of creating invoices and listing transactions, right? So because we are using the, the, uh, the remote uh, MCP server here, so it has only two specific tools at the moment. So then we see, uh, if you see, we are saying um, MCP toolset dot from server. This method establishes a connection to the specific MCP server and retrieves the available toolset. So in this, you are giving the connection parameters. This is what I've actually taken from the PayPal MCP server site. Uh, if, you, if you go and visit their doc documentation, you'll say it gives the command as npx and we are calling in a remote mode and this is a HTTPS MCP PayPal dot com, right? And uh, then uh, what uh, and rest are like the arguments that specifies argument for the npx command to run the MCP remote package and connect to the MC, uh, PayPal MCP server. And what are the return values? So the return values are tools, which is a collection of tools retrieved from MCP server and the exit stack, right? So these two are the return values. And then we talk about our agent right so now we are creating the llm agent and what we are doing is we are specifying the model uh, as as you know we are using gemini here so we are giving gemini 2.0 flash we are giving a name to our agent we are calling it paypal assistant or paypal agent um, and just some instructions uh, we are giving that what are you supposed to do so you are a paypal assistant that makes use of paypal mcp tools you can answer questions about paypal help with transactions and all that stuff and tools equal to tools, uh, because you remember that uh, what this returns is a tools, what MCP server supports. And here we are specifying those tools to our agent. So this is the extra knowledge. This is the context we are providing to our agent that, hey, you are aware of these certain tools, right? So which integrates the tools retrieved from MCP server into the agent, enabling it to perform specific actions related to PayPal services. And uh, the function, uh, as you know, uh, the return statement, the function returns the configured agent and the exit stack uh, context. And then you just simply um, uh, instantiate uh, the agent. So the purpose of this line to create agent function uh, is to instantiate the PayPal assistant agent since create agent is asynchronous function. So root agent will be a coroutine object. To execute it and obtain the actual agent, you'll need to run it with asynchronous event loop. Right, so I think we are good and um, you've got some good understanding what the code is all about. In the next video, our lecture, I'll show you how you can run this agent. So don't go anywhere.